Welcome to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty, everybody, and the Pac-12 Championship between the Kalispell Warhawks and the USC Trojans. This is a matchup I've been waiting for now for a while, with the two top teams in this conference finally meeting head-to-head. -head. USC won 11 straight before dropping their last game to UCLA. Kalispell, meanwhile, had some issues early in the season, starting 1-2, but have won their last nine games, and now have a chance, after all, to make it back to yet another national championship game. But after a pretty soft Pac-12 schedule for Kalispell, how will they handle potential Heisman winner Jason Murray in the Trojan offense? Murray just had a 36-touchdown, three-interception season. He also ran for eight touchdowns. And this Trojan offense is one of the top ranks in all of college football. But of course, our defense has shown they can handle just about any challenge. And we'll see who gets crowned the Pac-12 champion today. Here we go. Kalispell will start with the football. Here goes Colt Sully out of the end zone. And he'll make a move toward the sideline. Break free from one defender. And is brought down near the 19. Freshman Luke Irvin comes in with 27 touchdown passes on the year and 11 interceptions. And his first throw goes underneath and Drake Maddox is slammed down. Welcome to the Pac-12 Championship, everybody. Kalispell, two tight ends on the field. Handing this, it's Austin Jenkins coming off that record-breaking performance of over 300 yards a week ago. Now a third down and nine. Four on the rush, Irvin to the outside on target. There's Sherrod Edwards on the comeback route and a connection of 21. Single high safety look and running up the middle, not much there, it's Jenkins. Isolating Sherrod Edwards out to the left. Third down, Luke Irvin under pressure, gets it away incomplete. This is a good secondary for USC. They'll be put to the test and they force the first punt. And now Jason Murray trying to secure the Heisman Trophy this year. Going deep on first down and nearly getting picked off by Juno Springs on that ball a little underthrown. Secondary backed off now after the deep throw. And on the comeback out of bounds. I do like that approach. Go deep to soften things up and try that comeback. But now third and ten. Murray finds a man open. Caught by Steven Moses. Gain of 12 and a first down. Corner still playing off of the receivers. Now a delay and running right. This is Rhodes breaking a tackle. He's close to the sticks and he'll be a little short on the gain of nine. Motion now, third and inches, play fake. And Murray to an open man. Herring makes the catch and the Trojans enter field goal range on their opening drive. They'll open things up now, Murray. To the sideline, caught, Brown sheds the tackle, and he'll be a little short of the sticks, but another third and short scenario. Offset backfield, Rhodes running left, and right there, he will have enough. USC continues. At the Kalispell 17, heavy pressure on Murray, and taken down, this is Eric Bryant, who was unblocked, and that'll back him up. Third and 15 for USC, eight in coverage. Murray deep, has a man in the end zone who could not make the catch. Grigsby tried to bring it in with one hand and he obviously failed to do so. Great read by Jason Murray. And Kalispell catches the break. But they do now trail, three to nothing. One drive in, now some play action. Maddox has the catch and he'll have the first down as well. Maddox finished this year very hot. He now leads the team in touchdown catches. And Jenkins will get the carry again now on the toss. He loses three. Very slow start today for Austin Jenkins. Blitz sent now wide open underneath. There's Houston making the catch. He'll have 11. Kalispell facing a third down. Edwards the motion man, and Irvin underneath, Jenkins won't get much, he stops shy of the sticks, and it's fourth down again. Not a bad start today for USC, they've gotten a couple stops, now Rhodes getting Roman rumbling through the middle, Akinjide makes the stop, 
And after Justin Rhodes picks up 21. USC, strong opening quarter of play. Murray shakes free. And he's hit down by James Huggins just after crossing midfield. This can be a very tough third down defense. Murray needs six. Taking off and stumbling down. He's sacked. Not sure anybody will get the credit, but the drive is over. The first quarter is also complete now. We're into the second. Irvin drifting back and firing across the middle. A risky throw with the right timing to connect with Houston. New set of downs. Jenkins will go nowhere. Another stop in the backfield, leaving Kalispell pretty one-dimensional. Second down and 12 for Irvin. And he'll extend the play. Now go across his body and find Edwards. Nice job getting open for his quarterback. That'll pick up 20. Kalispell on the move with play action. Now Maddox got past the first defender. Shakes another one. He's got a first down gain of 14. Here we go. Starting to get somewhere. Irvin quickly in the hands of Houston. It's a first down on the slant. 13 yards. Now they found their rhythm pretty much all in the air. Irvin across the middle and knocked down by Jacob Sawyer, the safety. Nice play. Two tight ends in for Callis Spell. Good lead block for Jenkins as he gets down the sideline and into the end zone. There it is. Just had to be a little patient as Austin Jenkins puts Callis Spell in front. Well, now the Kalispell offense has gotten going. USC now trying to respond. Murray caught. Now Grigsby hangs on. This will get nine yards on a first down. Murray second down across the middle. Now is tight end Josh Fields. And we'll see how that matchup goes. Tight ends do have the tendency to get the better of Kalispell. Now across midfield, and open outside, another pass to a tight end. This time Herring gains separation from Akinjide, and he's got 24. Already in field goal range again, Jason Murray underneath, and this time it is broken up. Very tight coverage from Daniel Foster. And here's the tough situation. Secondary backs off, third and long. Johnson's there, and he's very close, and he does have enough. Kalispell bends but breaks on third down. Now Jonathan Allen checks in and uses his power to get all he can, just a yard. Third down now for USC. Murray, quick drop and incomplete trying to check it down. And it looked like there was a player open for a potential touchdown. That's two field goals now for USC as we have a one-point game here in the second quarter. Not covering Drake Maddox is not a very good idea. He picks up 24 on the catch and run. His first half is winding down. Jenkins will cut to the right. Good decision. It'll take him close to the first down marker. Nine carries now for Jenkins early on. Now they fake it to him. And wide open across the middle. Lindsay's got room to run inside the five and tripped up. Lindsay, who had just one touchdown in the regular season despite over 700 yards, doesn't quite get into the end zone, but it is goal to go. Jumbo personnel, and the touchdown is scored. Austin Jenkins and Kalispell extends their first half lead. Well, it took them a quarter, but the Kalispell offense is finding their way. Now a two-minute drill begins. Jason Murray underneath, caught by Justin Rhodes for a short pickup. Kalispell using their timeouts now, hoping for another drive. As the screen is set up, and Rhodes doesn't have enough blocking in front, and he's hit down by Ronnie Howard. And this means Kalispell will have time for another possession. They still have a timeout. And there's a quick strike and a good catch for Nick Lindsay. 14 more. Across midfield already. Irvin on first down. In some trouble. Gets it away. Another catch made by Lindsay. Great job being aware of the sideline. Kalispell now in scoring range. Irvin's going long, he's got single coverage, and this is knocked away from Sherrod Edwards. Good job again by Sawyer. Third down and in inches. 
He'll keep it in the hands of Jenkins, and he'll pick it up. The clock, of course, stops. Kalispell less than a minute now. Lindsay slot left, very busy lately. And Irvin caught by Edwards, good catch. 11 more, and Luke Irvin continues to look very sharp today. Down to 24 seconds, pressure in his face. Irvin, that's incomplete, not a fumble, it's all right. But USC forces third down, trying to limit the damage before half. Kalispell third and 10. Irvin to the outside and open for the touchdown is Tyrone Houston. It's their ninth touchdown connection this year and the USC defensive backs are arguing over whose responsibility that was. Ultimately, Kalispell's offense took over the quarter and that makes it a 15 point game here at the half. This game began about how I thought it would. It was very tightly contested in the first, but then Kalispell took things over in the second, and that means the beginning of the third quarter here is very critical for USC. Down 15, you do not want to let Kalispell continue building momentum. This is a team that when they're on a roll, they're unstoppable. Draw play, Rhodes hit from behind, and down there is Shannon Somerville enjoying his starting role once again. Third and eight, pressure sent, and Murray checks it down. Johnson there, and they'll move the chains. USC had a couple of good passing drives early in the game. They've got to refine that form. Now Rhodes will carry, demonstrate some power, and fall ahead. That's a great run of seven. Here's a third down for USC. Kalispell brings an extra rusher, and Murray is intercepted. He forced it. Picked off by Daniel Foster, and we've got the game's first takeaway. Kalispell up 15, looking to make a statement. The number three team trying to return to the national championship. Keep in mind, number one Florida has already won their conference title game. And here is another good run from Jenkins, finally ruled down after he picks up the first. A new set of downs and some pressure is sent at Irvin and they're lucky it showed up because he had a man open over the middle, but that'll send Kalispell backwards. USC really needs a stop. Third and 19, he's going for it down the middle and picked off. Intended for Drake Maddox, good play for Robinson who returns across the 30 and is stopped. The secondary has made a few plays today, and that's a big one. USC, down 15, gets it back. Rhodes, downfield, has a man, and he overthrew him. He was wide open. Third and six, three rush, Murray caught by Josh Fields. That's a first down, gain of 12. Ball at the Kalispell, 47. Draw for Rhodes and a tackle from James Huggins, the great middle linebacker. They'll move Fields over to the left side. Third down for Murray. He'll take off, breaks the first tackle, and then Huggins is there to wrap him up, and it's only a one-yard pickup. So far, these second half possessions haven't gone anywhere. Kalispell football, there's a lane and Jenkins heads to the outside. He's got the angle and he's across the 50 with his longest run that goes for 32. Kind of a boom or bust running game right now for Kalispell as they'll head to the air again. Lobbing one out, it's caught. Thomas Henderson. A perfect touch throw from Luke Irvin. And now they'll hand this one to number 29. Jim Jackson will check in, and that is a four-yard gain. For three for three in the red zone. USC really needs a stop. Irvin third and four with a lob for Maddox, and he comes down with it. Gain of nine and goal to go. Can they put together another touchdown possession? Third down and caught for the touchdown! Sherrod Edwards! Irvin does it again. That's his second touchdown throw of the game. And now a 28-6 shocker here in the Pac-12 championship. Kalispell, whose dominant run has led to three straight national titles. 
doesn't appear to be over quite yet. Murray throws for Fields and he will not get the first down. This defense has been relentless since the first half. Fourth and five, Murray takes off and lost the football and Kellis Bell's on it! They'll take over! James Huggins, everybody! He's all over the place and he knocked this free! Kalispell trying to put the finishing touches on this one here in the fourth, and this is Jenkins for the third time! Touchdown! Kalispell all over USC! 35-6. I did not see this coming. One thing I didn't like about our schedule this year was the lack of high-ranked opponents. We didn't see USC on the schedule. We didn't play Stanford this year, a team we've never beaten. So I wasn't sure, you know, how ready we'd be for a game like this. Well, I guess we have the answer now. Despite everything Kalispell lost a year ago, they've still maintained this excellence. It might be with a brand new offense and a lot of new players, but this is still the team to beat in the Pac-12 as USC does finish the drive with their first touchdown of the game. Kalispell will just look to run the rest of this clock out then. It is Jackson in the game, carrying out to the left, and he'll pick up around seven. But this Kalispell offense won't be going anywhere on fourth and two. They'll just be going for it, trying to end it. Jackson picks it up and stays in bounds. Gain of nine. I think Jackson's improved over the course of this season. And that is going to do it. Kalispell 35, USC 13. And for Kalispell who entered number three, we'll see if that was enough to get them back to the national championship game. They'll have to get over the number two spot, of course. But they couldn't have done anything more today. They are now three-time Pac-12 champions. They did not win it a year ago, remember. They didn't even play in this game. But now they're back. They can hoist that trophy and look to perhaps take another one. The dynasty continues for Kalispell. 11 seasons, an incredible journey, and another Pac-12 title. By the way, I've earned so many trophies. On NCAA 14, I no longer have room for any more. Like, it literally won't let me add more. Whether it be player awards, Pac-12 titles, anything. After playing 21 years. Nearly 21 full years of Dynasty between this and Minnesota. Here are the numbers from this one. I thought that Murray looked pretty good early in the game. I'm really surprised that we were able to shut down their offense quite that easily. Especially considering we didn't really have a great pass rush or anything. But I think we can thank James Huggins for a great game. 14 tackles, 3 for a loss, and a sack. Kalispell will be moving on. What is next for the Warhawks? Well, first we have the Heisman Trophy Award being awarded to Jarrell Sanders of Central Florida. Jason Murray comes in second. And now for our postseason prepare everybody for another national championship game as Kalispell will meet the 12-1 Florida Gators now right off the bat first thing I noticed this looks like another option school and sometimes these are pretty easy games because we're just so stout up front or they have a couple advantages and it's enough for them to to compete and give our defense some issues so we'll see how this goes they do have a really good lead running back in robert carroll who has 6600 career rushing yards that is second all time in division one fbs these option teams though when we play them they tend to give a lot of different players the football and sometimes their lead back doesn't get all that work We'll have to see if this is like a flex bone offense or if it's more of a spread option. And there is a key injury on this team. They will be without their top quarterback, Joe Green, the senior. And they'll have a freshman playing in his place, and that is 77 overall Raymond Singleton. 
He is a true freshman from the state of Florida who has a little experience this year. Four touchdown passes, four interceptions. This to me seems to be a game where they really need their running game to compete well against our top ranked rush defense. So Kalispell, after moving on from the era with Brandon Warren and all those great players, they have this new era and a chance to continue the championship winning legacy. I didn't think we'd be in this position this year, but we're still extremely good. And next time we see the Warhawks, they'll be back in the national championship game trying to complete the four-piece. Thank you all for watching today's episode. The next one will be on Saturday. National title will be then. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Leave your feedback down below. And for more Kalispell Dynasty and more franchise content to come, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all again shortly. Have a great day.